I travel the world, tracking down rare, deadly animals. I'm a herpetologist, animal expert, and adrenaline junkie. When cutting edge research labs need biological samples from wild animals, they call me Donald Schultz. Jeez, look at that! My shark's mission will take me from the Bahamas to the Florida Keys and then out into the Pacific to track down the world's fastest, deadliest and most hunted species of sharks. I'll use a range of capture methods. Far out and in deep water to collect samples that could help researchers and conservationists preserve struggling shark populations. My search starts off in the Bahamas, a chain of 700 islands stretching over 500 miles in the Atlantic, with pristine waters that are home to an incredible variety of underwater life, including more than 40 shark species. I'll meet my crew out on the water in prime shark territory. Sharks have ruled the world's oceans for more than 400 million years. But today, the brutal practice of severing dorsal fins for shark fin soup has caused the worldwide shark population to plummet by about 70%. Half of the more than 400 shark species are endangered. Sharks are one of the world's oldest and most efficient predators. But now, these magnificent animals need help to survive. I'm off the coast of the Bahamas, and my goal is to get genetic material from a reef shark for DNA fingerprinting. If researchers can help pinpoint where illegal shark hunting is concentrated, law enforcement can focus their efforts on those problem areas. Building up a DNA database can tell exactly where these shark fins are coming from and actually help law enforcement in eradicating the illegal overfishing of sharks. To get a sample with minimal trauma to the reef shark, I'll dive with bait to lure in a group, try to capture one by hand, bring it to the boat and cut off a tiny sample, and then release it back into the water. For the capture, I'll try a method I've never used before called tonic immobility. The idea is you use shark chain mail that gives off a weak electrical current inside salt water, grab the ampulla of Lorenzini, which is basically the sensory organ in the nose of a shark, it overwhelms the sensory organ and the shark stops moving. The idea behind that is if I can stop a shark from moving and swim it to the surface, I'll be able to get a sample. This unusual capture method is 100% safe for the shark, but less so for me. Diving with sharks is becoming very, very popular, but obviously there's a huge amount of risk that goes into it. And even though these are reef sharks, a shark that's eight feet long can quite easily bite straight through your arm. Reef sharks are among the biggest sharks in the Caribbean, so their fins are primary target for illegal fishing. 